Honda CRF 250R review. The Honda CRF 250R has seen plenty of changes since the bike's inception in 2004, but the newest generation model is arguably the most significantly changed CRF 250R Honda has ever produced. Perhaps the most significant and noteworthy difference is the new dual overhead cam (DOHC) engine. This marks the first time Honda has gone away from the single overhead cam (SOHC) unicam engine on its small Bowler Motac crosser. And as an added bonus, the all-new engine is electric start equipped. Honda's goal with the new engine design was to increase power, especially in the higher RPM. A few other unique features that are immediately visible are the two completely separate exhaust systems from port to muffler. The majority of the rest of the bike mirrors the current CRF 450R, which was all new in 2017 and has become the best-selling motocross bike in the past year. The CRF 250R receives a Showa 49mm A kit style spring fork which replaces the Showa separate function for SFF, Triple Air Chamber, TAC, unit that was spec on the 2017 model. Other changes include a new frame, downdraft intake, titanium fuel tank, and bodywork that mirrors the CRF 450R engine. The changes Honda made to the bike are immediately noticeably on the track. The new engine delivers power unlike any other CRF 250R that has come before it and is remarkably improved. The power delivery is much stronger than the previous generation bike on the top end. Therefore, it works best when ridden in the higher RPM. The mid-range hits hard, but one area where the new engine is not as good as the old engine is on the bottom end. However, that is one of the few areas where the previous engine excelled and most 250F riders tend to ride in the upper RPM anyway. The throttle response is extremely snappy, which despite the mellow bottom end power, help when accelerating out of soft corners. Hondas have always been praised for smooth shifting, and the all-new engine proves to be no different, and the clutch pull is very easy and smooth as well. The new CRF rims much higher than the 17 model and has better over rev, which makes it easy to maintain momentum and not having to shift when going up the hills and attempting to clear bigger jumps. The bike comes stock with three map settings, map 1, stock, map 2, smooth, and map 3, aggressive. Map 1 had great top end but a fairly mellow bottom end. On the other hand, map 3 improved the bottom end power but not as much as I would have liked and had a bit less top end power. Map 2 was mellow and didn't appeal to me as the conditions we rode in were fairly deep for most of the day. Overall, Honda's all new dock engine is significantly improved over all of the previous Unicam engines, especially for faster riders and those who like to spend their time in the upper RPM. Suspension The new Showa 49mm spring fork is a tremendous improvement over the previous Showa SFF tag fork. The new spring unit offers a fine balance between comfort and performance feel. With the stock suspension settings, the bike wanted to stand up in rutted corners and the front end seemed to wash out in flat corners occasionally, so the Honda technicians raised the fork 1mm up in the clamps, which helped the front end hook up better and not tend to wash out as much on the flat corners. They also went to flex stiffer on the fork compression to get better hold up and prevent the fork from riding too low in the stroke. Aside from having a better feel on the track and unlike the fork on the 17 bike, the new fork is easy to dial and with no air pressure gauges necessary. The shock has a plush feel that absorbs everything well. Honda recommends 105mm of sag as a baseline setting, but the bike seems to work better with a little more sag. I went as low as 109mm for the recommendation of one of the Honda technicians, which made the bike feel more stable at high speeds. Overall, the new Showa suspension component saw a huge improvement over the previous setup and is a win-win in the front and rear. Chassis Handling Hondas are known to handle well, and this is another area where the all-new 2018 CRF 250R is even better than before. Although the bike gained approximately 6 pounds with the electric starter and an additional cam and header pipe, the bike feels incredibly light on the track. 
the new frame plays a major role in the improved overall handling as the bike feels extremely agile and nimble both on the ground and in the air. The swing arm is a little shorter than the past models, which helps the bike get better traction in every area, and the seat is a little flatter, making it easy to move forward or backward on the bike. As far as brakes are concerned, the bike is a good balance between being strong and progressive but not overly touchy. The handling is yet another major improvement on the new CRF250R, which comes as no surprise given that it shares many of the same chassis components as the highly praised CRF450R. Conclusion the 2018 Honda CRF250R is an incredible bike and is unquestionably the best 254-stroke motocross bike Big Red has ever produced. The all-new engine revs to the moon and loves to be ridden in the higher RPM while the Showa Spring Fork performs great and is easy to dial in with just a few clicks. Even though the bike gains some weight, the new chassis design makes the bike feel lighter and more agile than ever before. With more bottom and power, this bike could be one of the most well-rounded 254-stroke motocross bike ever produced.